to adjust valves on the Y block, and I've been putting it off for many years, so now it's time to make one. So here it is. Now, first thing I need to say is that this is not the only way to adjust the valves in a flat tappet mechanical cam engine. Uh, it's just the way that I've found to be the easiest and most accurate. So you guys out there, there that have a different way of doing it, it's not to say that your way is wrong or my way is the only way. But this video isn't made for you guys. It's made for the ones that don't know how to adjust valves, and I'm just going to show you an easy, accurate way to do it. So let's get started. All right, start. here's the tools that you're going to need. A breaker bar with a half inch or seven sixteenths socket on it. Adjusters are different on different engines. A remote starter and a set of feeler gauges. You can use go, no go, or just flat ones. I have a set of flat ones, but if you have go, no goes, those are good too. Um, if you have the earlier style rockers with a lock nut on them, you need a five eighths box end. Open end is fine. I like box end and a flat screwdriver. Let's get those valve covers off. Okay, we've got our valve cover off, valves are all exposed, um, got my remote starter, and pop the engine over that way. I've disconnected the coil wire. We, some cars have a, a jump start that goes to 12 volts when you crank it, and even with the key off it might fire. So just disconnect the coil for safety. Alright, now we're going to start with number one. Crank it over until the exhaust, that's the one in front, just starts to open. Now it just started to open it. What that does, it puts the intake valve on the heel of the cam, just like this. That puts the intake valve on the back of the lobe, which is opposite the tip, the toe, and so that's the best place to adjust your lash. In this particular camshaft, I use 20 thousandths, stock calls for 19 thousandths. With stock cams, what I like to do is set them at 15. Makes them a little quieter. Y blocks have been known to be noisy. So here we go. That's a little bit tight. Just back off on the adjuster until you can slip the feeler gauge through with a little interference, not too much, but you know, you want to be able to move it in and out but have a little drag on it. Okay, now we're going to go to the exhaust. So we're going to crank it around until it opens the exhaust fully, then opens the intake fully, and then the intake is just about completely closed, like this. Intake valve is almost closed, just like this. Okay, now we're on the back side of the lobe for the exhaust valve, and we'll check it. Well, that one feels just about right. Okay, so you get the basic principle. You want to adjust the valve when the lifter is on the heel of the cam. Okay, so now just go to number two, do the same thing. This is the exhaust valve. Or we're exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. So watch the exhaust on number two. Just started opening. Adjust the intake. A little tight. Back it off. Feeler gauge through. Crank it over. Intake is just about closed. Check the exhaust. Back it off. Feeler gauge slips. Okay, number three, exhaust. Just started opening. Adjust the intake. 
a little bit tight. Back it off. That feels good. Exhaust open. Intake open. Intake just about closed. Check the exhaust. A little tight. A little tight. Just right. Number four, same thing. This is the exhaust. Watch the exhaust. Oh, just start open. Check the intake. Good. Crank it over. Intake's almost completely closed. Check the exhaust. That one feels good. There, we just did four cylinders real quick. Now let's move to the other side. Right, we're on the driver's side bank. Same thing. Go to number five. That's the first cylinder. That's the exhaust. Just started to close. Check the intake. Excuse me, started to open. Intake's good. Crank it around. Intake's almost closed. Exhaust. That one's loose. Tighten it up. A little interference, but it slips. Number six. Watch the exhaust. Just started to open. Check the intake. Okay. Crank it. Okay, intake just about closed. Check the exhaust. Right there. Number seven. Watch the exhaust. Just started to open. Check the intake. Good. Now crank it around. Intake is closed. Check the exhaust. That's good. Now we're on number eight. There. Exhaust just starting to open. Check the intake. Crank it around. Intake is just about closed. Check the exhaust. That feels good. Okay, there you have it. Just adjusted the valves. It was fairly easy. Went fairly quick. Uh, we went not through the firing order, but just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number one, watch the exhaust. Just starts to open. Adjust the intake. And crank it over where the exhaust opens and closes. Intake opens and just about before it's closed, adjust the exhaust. And do all of them same way, and you'll always get it right. Remember the little diagram with the camshaft? And when one valve is just starting to open or just about closed, you're always on the heel of the opposite lobe. If you have any questions, post them right here. And uh, I'll see if I can't answer them for you. Should be fairly simple, though. Thank you.